beautiful sunny day in Rome with Humi. I have two favorite monuments in Rome. One is the Colosseum. I know it's so banal, but every single time I go there, I get chilled. The other one is this. It gasometro. Yes, it's what's left of a gasometer, a gas holder. The tank is gone, but fortunately they left the shell. Built in 1937 by an Italian company, it's 90 meters high with a diameter of 63. Like the cupola of St. Peter's, it stands out in the horizon. You'll see it here and there, even from unexpected places. Here's a scene from an old movie, Bicycle Thieves. And there it is, the 11-year-old gasometer with the tank. From early 1900s till 60s, the southeast bank of the Tiber River was the industrial zone of the city. Right behind us, we have the Monte Martini Museum, a formal electric power station, now hosting some of the most important Roman sculptures and mosaics, which I'll make a video in the future. Today, these former factories and warehouses are turning into trendy restaurants, shops, and clubs. I named this area Little Brooklyn. We even have the bridge. Well, in a much smaller version, but 20 years older than that of Manhattan. Here's Ponte dell'Industria, the industry bridge. But most people call it Ponte di Ferro, the iron bridge. Still holding up everyday traffic. Since 2014, we have another bridge here, Ponte di Scienza, the science bridge. This one is completely pedestrian and is also dedicated to Rita Levi Montalcini, who passed away in 2012 at the age of 103. She was a neurologist who won a Nobel Prize in medicine in 1986. Here's a little tip. Come over at sunset. Che spettacolo!